All right, I think we're on. Yay, I just got a message saying that from Facebook saying this is my 50th broadcast. So what do you know about that? Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are in the world. John Ross coming at you live and in color as usual. So if you look in the corner of your screen, lower, well, it's the lower left-hand corner of my screen. I don't know what it is on your screen, but it's right over here. This is my baby, my TC Helicon Voice Live Touch 2. I, I think I may need to actually unplug this and plug it back in because I've got blinking lights, and usually when I've got too many blinking lights, it means that um, something is, has gone awry. If you guys like what I do, please share it with your friends so they can like what, uh, what you like and, um, and all that good stuff. What I wanted to show you today as I bring the microphone up in, it's going to get a little bit louder in here. Um, this device, besides uh, operating as a vocal processor, also serves as what's called a looper. This is something that's been popular in contemporary music for the last several years. I'm not going to use this thing yet. Uh, looping has been around for, well, I, you know, first heard about it about eight years Hi. ago. Oh, that's Addison making oh, a cameo appearance. Oh, right here. I was doing gymnastics. Oh, okay. Well, and here comes Carrie. I've been infiltrated. Ah! I've been infiltrated by little people. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Security! <laughs> security! Security! There's no security. <laughs> Who let these people in? Goodbye. I bye bye. Alright. Well we may we may bye -bye. do a more okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Now now run along now. <laughs> Isn't it bedtime? No. I think my wife, Melissa, I think you need to do some adulting. <laughs> so on with the show. I'm going to use the looper feature on the, uh, on the voice live. And so I'm going to hit a button here that says loop. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Um, you might have to pinch and zoom, but I, I'm on a screen here. This, this is a looper function. So I'm going to demonstrate the looper for you. And uh, this is really popular in contemporary music. I don't know if you guys uh, listen to Ed Sheeran at all. I'm not a huge fan, but he uh, does a lot with looping. He's like one of the top looping artists that we have in contemporary music right now. Um, so these are really popular. I first found out about loopers uh, probably eight, nine, ten years ago and am becoming more and more interested now here in this day and age. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you. I'm going to do a cover song. If there is a song that you would like me to cover on the broadcast, please type it in the comment section below, and I will uh, deliver that for you. So um, anyway, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to make a loop, and I'm going to start with a beat. You guys familiar with beatboxing? That's what a lot of guys do is they'll they'll beatbox a little pattern into the looper, and I'll show you how it works. Basically, you're just going to tap the record button. I'm going to record a beat. I'm going to tap the record button again. It's just going to play over and over again. We'll see if I can get everything lined up tempo-wise and all that. So here we go. Okay, so I did pretty well on that. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get the timing of the buttons just right so that the tempo locks in. I could put on a, a click if I, if I needed to, but um, I'm going to try to do this one uh, without it and see how well my, my timing is. Um, so that's that. So that's the, uh, my, my drum track. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this other screen and I'm going to select. I have a potential for six different tracks on this device. So I'm going to select my loop two track, and so loop one start. Loop one is playing right now. I'm going to go back to the loop screen, and now I'm going to record something else on top of it. So there's that. So I've got a drum track and the beginnings of a vocal track. And I'll uh, thank you for that. I'll, I'll explain to you why 
um, how I'm how I'm building this. I'm building this in layers, and I'm going to record myself doing some oohs in the background for like harmony parts. And I'm recording the higher parts first, because typically to the human ear, higher notes sound automatically louder. Thank you for that. Thank you for the like. I appreciate that. Typically. Uh, higher notes sound louder than lower notes, just all other things being equal. And what this device does is every layer that I add, it reduces the volume of the previous layer by a little bit. So I should get pretty good balance. And the last one I'm going to do is a little bass line, which will kind of shore up the bottom end of the sound. And we should have a pretty good balance on this. So I'm going to record a few more vocal lines live so you can kind of see how this works. I'm going to set different different tracks. I'm going to choose my, my third track. So I'm on track number three. So now I've got a basic track that I've built, and now you can kind of hear what, what I'm going to do with this. Um, so let's see. Yep, I've got all my tracks. So the, the cool thing, what I can do now is I can, I can change over. Instead of just selecting different tracks to record on, what I can do is I can mute certain tracks. So we have a question from the audience. Let's see. Automatically make the previous... No, actually... Um, it will automatically make the, the uh, previously recorded tracks a little bit softer. And you can actually set how much softer it gets. I think right now I have it set to 98% or 95% reduction. Um, as uh, it's turning out, this is pretty loud right now. And if I turn this down, it'll turn my main vocal down as well. I don't want to do that. So I may have to go in into the settings and adjust that percentage, but there's a setup menu over here that I can go into and I can change that percentage. Um, so I'm on the setup menu right now. There's a loop feedback setting right here. It's set to 98%. I probably need to dial that back even more so that as, as each layer comes in, the previous layer is reduced by 5% or whatever, whatever the case may be. So. Anyway, so that's that. So back to the loop now. Let's play the loop. What I did was I muted everything except the drum and the bass line. Now, one thing I did find out that was kind of cool when I was running through this earlier was, yeah, because my amplifier, which is right behind me, is so close to my microphone, it's picking up what it's playing back. The microphone is recording what the amplifier is playing back. And so you can hear the ooze in the background, when even though I mute the tracks. <laughs> Which is kind of a cool effect. And so we're going to see how this works on this song. Um, so I'm going to give you a little bit, little bit of the song, and then... Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go from there, just so you can get an idea of, of what my intention is with this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
I'm gonna sing a little bit of this song for you. And uh, so yeah. I'm gonna bring in some of the other tracks. So hopefully you guys can hear the lead vocal loud enough. Can you guys hear the hear me loud enough? We're about to find out. better for the uh, for the verses of the song if I if I mute that high part. Alright, we're gonna try this. Take the look of worry. I'm an ordinary man. They don't tell me nothing. So I find out what I can. There's a fire that's been burning. So there is a quick little overview of the loop feature. It'll record just about just about anything. If if it can if it can play into a microphone, it'll be recorded. So I could record any instrument. I could grab my daughter's flute and play it into the looper. I can grab some little percussion instruments and and uh, and record those. And this is going to be pretty cool. If you guys want to sponsor the broadcast and contribute to the John Ross Gear Fund, you're more than welcome to do so. As a matter of fact, if you like what I do enough and you feel so moved, go ahead and click on the virtual tip jar link above your screen, the one that says PayPal, and throw me a few bucks. And if you'd like to contribute to the Gear Fund so I can get more cool toys to display for you on Techie Tuesday, then feel free to make a contribution to the cause by clicking on the PayPal link. I, if you're enjoying this as much as I am, then I want to continue to deliver that to you. If you have songs that you want to hear me cover, then please feel free to type them in the comments below. If you are not on my mailing list and would like to be on the mailing list, please uh, PM me your best email address and I will make sure that you are well taken care of on that. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed that. It's John Ross saying so long everybody.